Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Melt With Nat and Jack. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much, welcome back. I have, since Thursday, sitting on my dining room table, my Teddy Bees RTS. I opened the box and it's been sitting just like this since Thursday. Um, I wanted to put it all away. I've had a crazy couple days doing yard work, cutting trees down today. I wanted to do this before I left for work and time wasn't on my side. So I just got home and before I end my day, I said, I have to do this Teddy Bees RTS because I have a big Scentsy party sitting here that got delivered Saturday that that box isn't even opened yet. So I'll try to get to that one tomorrow. Um, if I could get one done today, it is a goal achieved. So, Teddy Bee's RTS. And I'm going to put this here. I got Semper there behind me because mommy was gone all day. So everywhere I go, he's following me, thinking I'm leaving again. So I got Tiffany's card. And that's the back. I think she's doing a pre-order. Don't quote me, May 19th did I hear? I think May 19th. List isn't up yet. So it's always a big thing when she puts her list up. I know, I think last time it went up the day before, so I don't know. Maybe she could get it up a couple days before, whatever. Um, samples, if I seem, uh, okay. Did any of you guys watch the Letitia? I know some of my subscribers, we talk privately in PMs that follow the true crime. I've been following the trial for the past three weeks on top of over the last couple years, you know, hearing about it, then the three-week trial I was addicted to. Um, and today was the verdict on the Letitia Stock trial. Did anybody else here watch it? Comment below and let me know. Um, I know my Krista from K Marie Plans, a couple of my subscribers, we've been back and forth. And um, so I was literally, the verdict came in when I was in one of my attorney's offices doing a closing in between while we were waiting for the bank to tell us we were good to go while the docs were signed right because we had to scan them. I kept looking at my phone like when I saw a verdict was in. As soon as I got in my car, I turned it on and I have been crying for hours. So I'm just going to say justice for Gannon. Prayers for that family to heal at whatever that word may be for them. Um... Yeah, I know I'm off topic, guys, but I wish I could do a whole video on this trial. Um, maybe Krista and I could do one one night. I don't know. She She's my true crime buddy. Okay, so back to Teddy B's. Pacific Northwest Winter, and I haven't, as you can see, all the... I normally take everything even out and stack it. I didn't even do that with this. Maybe I should have. Um, Pacific Northwest Winter. I've never had this before. Hope I can even smell because I've been blowing my nose from crying. Yes, I can smell. And this smells, it smells similar to kind of to another woodsy one I've had. Is it rain in woods maybe? I don't know. But I've had something similar. And this is really, really good. I like it a lot. Loving my earthy woodsy scents, thanks to Alexis. Emma of Normandy, never had this one. I've never even seen it. And I don't know scent notes, guys. I mean, obviously this is very tree. This smells pine and tree scent. This smells a little perfumey. A, a good perfumey though. Oh, my partner in crime, Onyx, has now arrived. We all know when I do a video, Onyx has to join in. Come on, Onyx. You could come over here. It's probably going to make Semper jump down. Come on. Come by. Okay, come here. Come on. All right. Say hello. Oh, look. You got to look at the camera. Say hello. Okay. 
Can you sit here? Because Semper's sitting with me. Well, let Semper stay here right now. I'm almost done. And one more sample is Pink Moon. Now, I got Pink Moon in my pre-order. But don't ask me the notes, because that's how you know. I don't. I didn't even look at these, because I would have wrote down the notes to Pink Moon from my last order. Is there uh, pink sugar in this? And cashmere? Creamy cashmere, pink sugar? I don't know, but it's really, really good. So, Pink Moon. Those are my samples. I got all loaves, because I went, I went right in for the loaves to get in and out. So that's just what I did. Um, okay. My first loaf, and a couple of them are from my from the pre-order that I got in tubs that I really liked on cold. So Evangeline. Now I accidentally didn't even realize it till I looked at my email and I got, I put two loaves of Evangeline in and I was not going to make Tiffany crazy because she did not have Desi with her um, for this RTS. And I figured, I don't care. Um, I already know somebody that loves it, that whose birthday is coming up. So it was like, perfect, got a birthday gift. So I got two loaves of Evangeline, but one is going to be a birthday gift. And this is Mossy Oak Trees Wild Poppies. Citrus Sandalwood, Southern Breezes, and Warm Amber, poured March 6th. Oh, it smells so good, just coming out of the bag. Ooh, yeah, this is, I like it. Mmm, You. the amber is pretty strong. Is it the amber that's like really popping out? I think it's the amber. The sandalwood and amber. I don't get much citrus on cold. Yeah, it's really good. Very strong. Like this smells like it could, it could go right in the warmers. Okay, balsam beach was one that I got in a tub. So I loved it so much on cold sniff. I didn't warm it because I let my teddy bee sit. And Balsam Beach is vanilla balsam, ocean driftwood with a touch of sea salt. Pour, poured February 15th. Yeah. Well, obviously, I loved it in the tub. It smells very beachy. I love it. Mmm. Very good. PB and J, I loved it in the, in, did I get it in a, I got it in a souffle to try it because Charity told me that it's a dupe for Dexter's. So um, when I smelt it in the souffle, I loved it. Nobody's here, so. It's toasted bread, fresh jam, and a drizzle of honey. And that's what I love about this. Um, the I love the peanut butter and jelly that have the honey in it because I love honey in wax. Yeah, definitely. I didn't warm my souffle yet, but on cold, it smells exactly like Dexter pours, which I hope they come back. They're in the military and are stationed in Japan. And a uh, percentage of their, um, when you buy their wax, goes to the... Um, um, veterans to the dogs for the veterans. So I love buying from them. So this is new for me. And, um, I hear so much about this scent weekend with Papa. And I really wanted to try it. It's salty sear, vanilla bean Noel, toasted marshmallow, Sadie blended with roasted pine cones. So I'm not sure what Sadie is. Um, I have watched videos and they knew it's, I think like in their videos when they did this, they might've known this, the notes to Sadie. I'm not sure, but I, this is very popular. Mm, I can see why this is really good. I'm not really getting salty sear. I'm getting more of a bakery. Yeah, I'm getting more of the vanilla and the toasted marshmallow. So that's weekend with Papa. I heard it's 
like so good. I can't wait to warm that. Um, oh, this one I was really excited for. Iced Woods and Sweet Birch. And this is Icy Vanilla Woods, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, Marshmallow Fireside, blended with a bit of birch wood. So that sounds right up my alley. Mm. It's light. I get that birch wood. I hope it pops from curing and putting it in the warmer, like in a few months. I'll probably save that for fall. It smells great, but it's light to me. And then I got a loaf because I got a souffle of petrichor. So petrichor is the scent of wet earth after the rain. And that's exactly what this is. This is, I explained it when I did my pre-order. It's like I left a bag of potting soil out on my deck and it rained that night. And the next morning I go out to continue gardening and I open up the bag and it's wet from being outside. Exactly what it smells like. Um, yeah, exactly. It's like, woo, it is like clear your nose out. And I love it. So this past Saturday, I love it. This, Alexis did this to me. This past Saturday was Kentucky Derby Day in our melting challenge. Um, well, it was Kentucky Derby Day. So it was to melt a dirt. So I did, um, um, I did dirt in the house. I mixed a little bit of strawberry, mostly dirt. It was like, 80% dirt to 20% fresh strawberry in it. And my daughter and her boyfriend came here to help me cut some trees down. They were cracking up laughing of how that, they think I was crazy. I said, well, what do you, I go, Jack, do you smell the house? She goes, yeah, mom, it smells like the outside. Like I thought it was from you coming in and out with everything you're doing in the yard. I go, no, it's dirt. I'm melting dirt. It's Kentucky Derby Day. They, we, we all just started cracking up laughing. She thinks I've lost my mind, but until you try it, don't knock it. I'm telling you, it is my new love. Okay. Um, honeybee, I got a tub in this. Loved it on cold. So I grabbed a loaf because you don't know if, when she's going to pour it again. Like Campfire Stories, I had to wait like two years to get Campfire Stories and Nude Beach. So I grabbed a, a loaf and it is sweet sugar cookies, honey nectar, sweet vanilla, and beach treats. And I love this on cold. It was my favorite. I think I said that in my pre-order. Yeah, I just, oh man, the beach treats with the honey. I mean, I don't get much nectar on cold, but it's gorgeous, like so gorgeous. I love it. My second loaf of Evangeline. I um, think I got two left. Okay, so I got plum and peppercorns because it sounded really interesting and Susan Fitzpatrick got it in, as a sample. And, um, and I asked her how she liked it when she, and she said it was, she liked it, so. Um, it's sweet plum saffron and black peppercorns. So sounded like something very interesting. Very different. The black pepper. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have anything like this. Definitely going to hold on to this for fall, like maybe early fall. So all the different color glitter on it. It's really pretty. Very different. I've never smelled anything like this. But I don't have much plum in my um, collections. Yeah, I don't really go for plum. I mean, I have a couple things, but not a lot. And I think this is it. Yep, I got this in a tub and I loved it. Sweet and smoky. And sweet and smoky is sugar cookie, cinnamon, spiced vanilla, sensual vanilla, with a background of warm smoked woods. 
So sweet and smoky. I love smoky scents. I love campfire um, scents. Just love it, especially at night. Oh, this is just so good. Yeah, like, like I think that that if I had to pick one as a favorite, I think Sweet and Smoky is it. So that's it, guys. That is my Teddy B's RTS who's ordering. Well, I'm not going to even ask who's ordering from her May 19th. Of course, it depends on her list. And for me, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Let's see if I stick to it. But I have so much Teddy B's right now. So, um... Yeah, I mean, it got it has to be something. I requested the Queen's Dowry, which is um, strawberry pound cake bath and body work type, toasted marshmallow, um, and what else is in it? I don't know. I have a little, a few um, chunks left from my last loaf I got from her, and I've been hoarding it. So when I saw on Facebook yesterday, she mentioned any requests. I the only one I requested was the Queen's Dowry. And I grabbed my bag and I had I put the set notes so everybody could see it. I don't I wasn't on Facebook today, so I don't know if anybody liked it or anybody else agreed and would want it. And it doesn't matter to me. Um, if she pours it, she pours it. If not, she'll pour it next time. So that's it, guys. I'll see you. Um, I think I'm working from home tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to do um, a couple of other hauls that I have. Um, a closeout party, Scentsy closeout party. I got to do that because my friend Stacy, who ordered from that party, her stuff is in there and she's going to be coming over to pick it up. So, um, all right, guys, I love you so much. God bless. Thank you so much. Let me know if you got anything from the RTS. Do you plan on ordering? Again, I'm asking pre-order and did anybody else watch the verdict today? All right. Love you guys. Bye.